Tata's plan is devastation of the steelworks to put it mildly. It is effectively to remove primary steelmaking from this area and ultimately from the UK. At the same time as the government is putting half a billion pounds of taxpayers' money into this private company, they're cutting jobs and cutting capacity. It's nothing less than industrial vandalism. There's absolutely no reason to be cutting capacity at Port Talbot. The demand for steel is actually growing and the demand for green steel is growing even further. The world is changing and we need to move forward, but we need to move forward the right way and be given the opportunity to transition into a greener steel, but not just saving jobs, but actually creating new jobs. The Unite's plan actually creates thousands of jobs for youngsters coming through because there isn't anything left for those young people. This has paid me my living all my life from 60 years old and those boys should have the opportunity that I had. The government are not giving the chance for businesses to thrive in, in Wales. For example, for the energy prices, it's just 60% higher than they are in the other countries in Europe. And also, they need to make our industry a critical industry so the people of Britain buy our steel. We've seen this before in the 1980s with the previous Tory government who closed down our pits and left our communities to decimation. And, and to rot. We won't allow that to happen to the steel industry. I used to be an ex-miner before uh, I joined the steelworks. The, the main difference was then there was jobs to go to. There is now. The town is not going to be the same. It's going to be. It's going to be empty. It's going to devastate it. The workers are spending their money in the shops, takeaways. We haven't got much as it is here, and what we have got here, they keep going. This, that's where they spend their money. So it's going to affect everyone. It's going to affect all the communities, from I would say from Agend up to Swansea, but then of course all the valleys as well. We've got MPs um, moving now, coming forward to support our industry a little more, but we need to keep that pressure on to keep them supporting our industry into the long-term future. Look at what the union are proposing, particularly Unite the Union, in this transition plan. Retain blast furnace four during the transition and build a three megaton uh, arc furnace to allow them to take advantage of the dramatic increase in demand we anticipate for green steel. We can push them even further, defend our jobs, defend our communities, and it's time to back the UK steel industry. There's a lot of worry, but I can guarantee you that everybody that I speak on our plant are 100% going to try to fight to keep this place open. It is, it is not just a steel works, it is part of our heritage and it's deep in the heart. And we will fight as much as we can to keep this place open, everybody. We're all in it together. Save our steel! 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 Save our steel. Save our steel.